Lists are extremely useful in Grasshopper because everything works around lists. So let's have a brief introduction on how to use list components. Let's first draw a curve using a curve container and let's draw a curve on Rhino. Right click and set one curve. Click on the curve and let's use a component called divide curve. If we use divide curve by providing a count of two, you will see that these components will split the curve in two pieces. So we'll end up with, with three points. So whenever we provide a count, let's say with 10, we will end up with 11 points. You always need to add one. So let's see how this list is composed. So we have three main information. The first one is the path and this only have one path. Then we have the items and the index. The index is referred to a specific item inside the list and always starts from zero. So whenever we see a list with, let's say the last index uh, that in this case is 10, we always need to add one in order to know how many items are inside my list. So what if I want to select a specific point inside my list? I will use the list item component. So what this list item component do is selecting a specific point inside my list. So if I provide a slider, I can change the index. So I will select a different point inside my list. What if I want to select more points? We can either provide a different slider inside my index. So by selecting two different points, or I can use uh, other components in order to split my list in different parts. So let's go to set list and let's use partition list and split list. And what these two components do is splitting the list, the first one in chunks, the second one in two different lists. So if I use a size of two for the first component and connect the list, we can see that now the information that are inside my list are divided in six different lists and each list has two uh, items. As you already saw here, we have uh, one item because we have 11 points and if we divide 11 by two, we will end up with one point left that will be added on the last uh, list inside my data tree. So let's use the split list. The split list actually do the same thing, but it only divides in two lists and not in chunks. So if I use a point container, you can see that my first list basically contains two points. So if I increase this list, I will see that I will provide more points inside my list A. And in the list B will be all the points that are remaining inside my list. So these are very useful whenever we need to split the list. So let's go to set and let's use another um, component called list length. And this list length, if we connect it to my first component, we can see that it basically returns the number of how many points we have inside the list. But if we connect these other two components, the chunks and uh, the split list, we can see that the numbers changes because now we have the lists that are divided in chunks. So for each chunk, we will have uh, a number of uh, points inside. So for the first one, we have 11 items that if we divide by four, we have four, four and three. So if we go back to two, as we saw before, we have six items and the last one only have one items inside. If I connect the list A, I see that here, if I increase the number, this will increase as well. And if I use another list length for the second list, basically the first one increases and the second one reduces by one each time. So if I divide, if I use six for the list A, the second one will be with five items. And if I decrease it to zero, I will end up with 
zero elements inside my first list and 11 items inside my second list. So this was a brief in information on how to use uh, these components that are the main ones. Uh, and in the next tutorial, we'll see how to use a, another component called sort list. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any doubts, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see in the next tutorial.